A child can spend a Saturday night munching on chips before the dinner is ready, sitting in front of the TV, almost too close, eyes wide, watching Spirited Away by Studio Ghibli. 30 years later, the same child on a Friday night after a long day of work, eating leftover takeouts, remote in one hand, lounging on the couch with eyes still wide open, watching Spirited Away. It's not an unheard of experience, especially when discussing childhood movies. But Studio Ghibli tends to have a special place in the hearts of the people because of its movies of detailed animation, a nostalgic aesthetic, beautiful color palette and most of all, a world that seems unimaginable come to life. This studio was at its peak when Spirited Away came out. This delivery of sensitive, spiritual and emotional message made Spirited Away the highest grossing film in Japanese history at that time. It won awards across the world, including an Academy Award. This led Studio Ghibli to its popularity all across the globe and made them people's favorite studio which created movies like no other. The reason behind its insane popularity? Studio Ghibli's animated films are known for their worlds of magic, witches and wizards and spirits, not to mention transformations and mystical token galores. But you might ask, even Disney has all of these things too, then why do people prefer Studio Ghibli over Disney? What are the factors that make these movies so magical and nostalgic to us? Miyazaki is the animator, director, author and screenwriter who co-founded Studio Ghibli. The beauty and wonders of the natural world is a recurring theme in Studio Ghibli's film. But Miyazaki does not like to be called as an environmentalist. His movies are not ham-fisted nor are they simple packages that carry crafted messages about the world. Instead, Miyazaki's films are organic and subtle, as alive as the world they depict. Watching a Studio Ghibli's work can feel as if a germ of an idea has taken root, swelling inside of us in a way that's hard to describe. The films do not scream, do this to save this planet or the end times are here. Rather, they offer a breath of wind or a reaching branch that nudges and nods to an appreciation of the natural world around us. In Studio Ghibli, beauty is found through curiosity. Miyazaki's characters always, always lose themselves in exploration, examination and appreciation of the world around them. They have an openness to the world that strikes us as nostalgic. Somehow, simply in how it echoes our own, often lost, childhood curiosity. Western cultures have pursued anime to be fetish or niche interest for decades. Until recently now, there haven't been many strides made forward for anime communities. Studio Ghibli is at the forefront of removing the disgrace to anime culture. And although viewers may argue it doesn't fall under the category of anime, it is certainly a Japanese descendant animation. Ghibli is vastly seen by people as more similar to mainstream animes such as Naruto, Pokemon and Dragon Ball, the shows that people grew up with in English dubbed. So it never crossed their mind about the beloved cartoons being foreign. Nevertheless, it makes sense that adults or teenagers now are more accepting that foreign cinematography, in particularly anime. Finding the magic in mundanity and unique quality that Ghibli movies possesses is the ability to make the most mundane task look like the most magical one. There's no doubt that most of the movies coming out of the studio are mostly fantastical in one way or other, but its most magical moments are often the ones with no fantastical elements in them. Whether it be old Sophie cleaning out All's castle from head to toe, or Chihiro doing hard labor for the first time, or maybe even Kiki baking a cake. These ordinary everyday cores are presented in a way in every movie that it looks like the most wondrous task one can ever do. The movies pay an awe-inspiring attention to details while crafting these scenes that makes it look so transporting and so appealing to the audience. Another thing which most people don't notice but it overall increases the magic of these movies is food. I have little to no words to explain why it is an aesthetic. I mean look at it, it looks damn good. And for those of you who have watched Spirited Away, it may be a little messed up plot wise with the pig transformations and abdomen part, but you can never deny the fact that when you watched it, your mouth began to drool. Another reason for its popularity is the trend for all things vintage retaining. Ghibli Studio is known for its detailed hand animated 2D animation, and most of its popular movies were made in 90s or early 2000s. 
it definitely fits the vintage trend. There are several other reasons, but a larger one is normalization of anime. Beauty of stillness. Part of what allows the characters to be fully developed in the length of Studio Ghibli's film is beauty of stillness. For animation movies, Ghibli movies are quite long and slow paced. And that's the real reason why we get attached to the world they live in and the characters of the movie. Studio Ghibli's films present scenes of stillness or slower scenic scenes with little to no actions or words. These movements may feel unimportant but these are the movements that makes these movies feel so peaceful and so beautiful. It is in these slower paced movements that the audience can feel what the characters are feeling. No matter at what age you watch these movies, they are born to make you feel nostalgic. It doesn't matter if what you are encountering on the screen never happened to you. It still feels as if it's taking you back to your childhood. This makes you feel reminiscence of your past that never was true. The childlike curiosity and innocence of the characters makes you want to go back in time to when you were a child. Miyazaki is a genius because he pulls us into the world that feels right again. It's not only the way his characters are written but also the whimsical and joyful aesthetic of his anime. No doubt Studio Ghibli films are not for everyone. Some will find his narrative to be garnish but in many ways that's the main point. A plot that is designed to illuminate just how different our relationship with nature could be. Watching Miyazaki's films feels like returning home. By the end, we return to our everyday worlds with the fresh perspective that recognizes not only the tedium and troubles but also the new possibilities. Let me know in the comment section down below that what are your thoughts about Studio Ghibli and its movies and which is your favorite movie too. And that's for today's video guys. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post daily anime content about top 10 top 5 listings, anime reviews, recommendations, news theories and all sorts of anime content on daily basis. So if you enjoyed please subscribe and that was it and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.